In the spring, a young man's fancy lightly turns to thoughts of love. And it's not only the human male that feels the urge to merge. All around our gardens, a new generation of male insects and spiders and slugs and snails and all kinds of other creepy crawly things are coming of age, flexing their muscles and eyeing off the options. And when it comes to the rituals of courtship and mating, it's undoubtedly the insects that show the most astonishing variations on a very simple theme. For a male praying mantis, courtship is a leap in the dark with no certainty of a happy landing. When the male propositions a female, he risks more than just a slap in the face. This female's on the lookout for a meal, and she thinks she's spotted one. The male lays his life on the line. Stealth is everything. Even now, it's no easy ride. She only has to turn her head, and praying won't help. Not even time to say grace before dinner, when you're the dinner. With vegetarians like grasshoppers, it's not so tricky. They can have dinner together and get to know each other. It's a good thing most female insects are rather placid, because the males are often physically smaller. And in the case of beetles, sometimes awfully clumsy. It's not just a matter of finding a chink in the armor. It's keeping a grip on the situation generally. Very often, it's the female that plays the leading role. For a male bug, that can be a bit of a drag. A male lacewing bows before the female. She's got him hypnotized. When he's quite helpless, what does she do but hook a leg over one of his feelers and tug him away to goodness knows what fate. From bugs to slugs. But there's a difference. Unlike an insect, a slug is both a he and a she and can take turns at role playing. Or each of them can play male and female at the same time, turning a twosome into a foursome. Whichever it is they do, these giant leopard slugs do it dangling. The results are spectacular trapeze act. Among the insects, there's nothing quite as spectacular as what we've been looking at, except among certain kinds of butterflies. In human courtship, a male, if he's worth anything, showers his lady with gifts. The gift of the common crow butterfly is a real shower. It's a shower of perfume. The common crow uses a pair of golden brushes to shower the female with invisible fragments of scented hair. The female knows by his choice of scent that he's her kind of male. Dragonflies loop the loop to tie the conjugal knot. The male on top has already transferred his sperm to a pocket up near the front of his body. That leaves him free to put a headlock on the female with a pair of pincers on the tip of his tail. And it leaves her free to put her tail in his pocket. Among the insects, it's usually female's choice, but not always. These male butterflies, imperial blues, are waiting for a female to emerge. There she is, and before her wings have time to uncurl, one male has thrust his rivals aside and staked his claim. By contrast, the courtship of the orchard swallowtail butterfly is a pas de deux in the sunshine. It's a ritual dance lasting many hours in which the male diffuses his scent and patiently awaits her acceptance or otherwise. Most of the insects and small animals around us have only one spring season in the whole of their lives, only one chance to meet and mate and start a new generation going. And aren't we humans lucky that when all that's over and done with, we still have plenty of springs to look forward to, with lots of different kinds of 
sensual experiences.